So we just This video was shown in the US courts as Joe Biggs, the Proud Boy leader, was convicted of seditious conspiracy for 17 years. Prosecutors said Biggs and his co-conspirators were the driving force behind the violence. During the Capitol riots, Biggs boasted about the far-right group's victory. January 6th will be a day in infamy. Yes, <laughs> yes. But in court, he wept as he received one of the lengthiest terms given in connection with the riots to keep then-President Trump in office. Before his sentencing, Biggs apologised tearfully requesting leniency to support his daughter, who he says was a sexual assault victim. The 38-year-old U.S. Army veteran also said, I'm not a terrorist, but I know that I have to be punished. Another Proud Boy member, Zachary Reel, seen with Biggs, also received charges of seditious conspiracy for 15 years. A defence attorney criticised the sentence as being obscene, well, obviously, the sentences were significant, and that's disappointing. Um, but they were half of what the government asked for. And so even at sentencing, our view is the government overreached. The case was overcharged. The government sought to make a point, and it did. A couple of years would have been enough time. These sentences are obscene. Federal prosecutor Jason McCullough described the crimes as very serious and emphasised the need for a strong message ahead of the next presidential election.